some new shoes on. Flip flops are the unofficial shoes of the summer. They come in different styles, colors, and an affordable price, but are the cause of thousands of foot injuries each summer. Sarah Mitchell has been slipping her feet into flip-flops for months now. Shoes that were meant to be used at the beach or when taking a shower, she pretty much uses everywhere, doing things that flip-flops weren't designed to do. I've ran to class in them instead of just walking. I've played basketball in them. I've gone on nature hikes down in Austin wearing them. As comfortable as flip-flops may be, they don't offer much support. And not having enough support can cause back pain, blisters, or in this case, a stress fracture. Mitchell says she began feeling pain on her left foot, but never thought her shoe preference would be the cause of it. Well, the most comfortable thing for me was always wearing flip-flops. And I own about, I would say, 20 pairs. And I mean, it's never given me problems before until recently. She says the stress fracture got so bad she could barely walk and started noticing marks on her foot. I started noticing a red bump on the side of my pinky toe and it was painful and became more swollen at night. Now, Mitchell wears a boot to help a heal, which could take about six to eight weeks. It's a pretty safe bet that Mitchell has learned a valuable lesson this summer. I'm staying towards more comfortable shoes now. Daisy Silos, CW33.